In 1900, in the countries of Central and Southern Europe, tens of millions of people were trapped in miserable lives. They were starving and uh, things were real tough because when my father was a young boy at 12 or 13 years old, he was sent to a family in Cairo, Egypt, to become a vassal. That's what they did with their sons. Peasants, they never got paid, they never made a living, they lived in, in huts. The Jewish people certainly were poverty stricken, they didn't have a darn thing. My people came from peasants. My grandparents on both sides of the family came from Sicily. Uh, my mother's side of the family came from a, a town called Chimina. In the small villages, what was there? Oppression and no food. One place held the promise of a better future. My mother and father, they heard about America from others, and they knew that America was heaven. It was worse than America, all problems would be solved. There would be food, there would be freedom, there would be no persecution. Freedom, freedom, an incredible word for those people. It was the promise of material abundance and freedom which drew more than 13 million impoverished Europeans to America between 1900 and 1914. They came from the Austro-Hungarian Empire, from Russia, and from Italy. It was the greatest free migration in all of human history. My mother's mother, Domenica, was afraid to travel on the boat. And the only way they got her on the boat was to, uh, her brother tricked her. He went on the boat with her and said he was going with her. And at the last minute, she, he tur she turned away and he left. My mother came by herself through Siberia. She got to the coast and got on the boat. They were just sitting on the deck. Hordes of people huddled over their possessions, which consisted of old pillows with feathers and the uh, few pieces of silverware tucked in there and stuff like that, the candlesticks, and sleeping on the deck with one another, next to one another to keep oneself warm. It took weeks and weeks and weeks. It took ages. When I crossed the ocean, I never saw such waves in my life. I never knew an ocean existed. Approaching the New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty was there, and it gave me a free feeling, a feeling of liberty, a feeling of a new nation, a feeling of a new hope for a beautiful life. being an immigrant. There's something so deliciously naive and happy about being an immigrant who has escaped from something. My father would say from time to time, no matter how bad things were, at least 